Self confidence is extremely important in almost every aspect of life. Yet so many people struggle to find it. Hey guys, this is Shruti Anand. Welcome back to my channel Wardrobe and Fitness. Today I'm going to be talking about how to build confidence in yourself. Confident people inspire confidence in others. Be it their audience, their customers, their bosses, their friends or their peers. Confident people face their fears head on and they tend to be risk takers. They know that no matter what obstacles come their way, they have the ability to get past them. The first key point is body language and image. This is where your posture, smiling, eye contact and speech will slowly come into play. Just the simple act of pulling your shoulders back will give others the impression that you are a confident person. Smiling will not only help you to feel good from within but it will make people feel more comfortable around you. While talking to a person, make sure that you are making an eye contact. An eye contact shows confidence. Do not look here and there or look down while talking to a person. So look up, make an eye contact while talking to a person. And lastly, talk slowly and clearly. The second key point is stick to your principles. Stand up for what you believe in. Never compromise on your principles, even if it takes to stand away from the crowd. You can also change your mind if you believe that this is the right thing to do because you are not under pressure from somebody else. And once you will start gaining confidence in yourself, you will notice that you will naturally become more assertive. The third key point is be prepared. It's hard to be confident in yourself if you feel that you won't do well at something. Beat that feeling by preparing as much as possible. Think about taking an exam. When you have an exam, you prepare yourself in advance so, so that you get good marks in your exam. Similarly, start taking life as an exam. Prepare yourself for every situation in your life. For instance, if you have a test in your school or college, Prepare yourself, study that chapter well so that you are prepared for the test. Or if you have a presentation at your workplace, if you will make it a habit to prepare yourself in advance, you will automatically notice that you are slowly becoming a confident person. So make this a habit to prepare yourself in advance. The fourth key point is set small goals and achieve them. Make it a habit of setting a small goal, then achieving it and then celebrating it. For instance, you feel like waking up early in the morning but you are not able to do so. So what you can do is set up your alarm clock 5 minutes before your wake up time and when you will wake up 5 minutes early than your wake up time, this thing will give you a boost of confidence. So when you will achieve your small goals, it will slowly and gradually make you a confident person. The fifth key point is stop the comparison. When you compare yourself or your life or what you have, to other people's life, then you have a destructive habit. There is always someone who has more or who is better than you at something. So there will always be people who will be ahead of you. This cycle is endless. So replace this habit with something better. Look at how far you have come. Look at your life journey. Start focusing on yourself. Compare yourself with yourself. Focus on you and on your results and stop the comparison with others. So these were the five key points which I apply in my day-to-day -day life. And once you will develop confidence in yourself, you will notice that your various aspects of life will start flourishing. Be it in your academics, be it in your job, be it in the way you dress up, fashion, beauty, or in your relationships, your friends, your colleagues. Your various aspects of life will start flourishing like a flower. So guys, it's a wrap now. If you've liked this video, don't forget to hit on that like button, comment and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel Wardrobe and Fitness. Subscribe by clicking here 
and also hit on that bell notification so that you get notification every time I post a new video on my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.